y'all, Airgun Angie with Airgun Web. I've got the TX200. This is from Air Arms. It's an underlever Springer, 177 caliber. And the last video I did, I did some pellet testing in it. This time, I know guys, I said I was gonna test a bunch of pellets in it to see which ones were the best. And then I was gonna take it back to a further distance and see how it shot. Well, I got a little impatient and I wanted to find out if it was a longer distance gun or not. And yes, this is a Springer, guys, so that's a really, really good question. Before I get started, I want to thank Pyramid Air for sending this to me. Um, this has been a real pleasure to get to shoot. As I've said before, this is my first high-end Springer, guys, so it is a completely different experience than what I've had before, and so far, I'm impressed. If you would like more information on this air gun or any other ones, guys, go to www.pyramidair.com. Check them out. So today, guys is all about distance. I want to see what kind of groups I'm going to get. I've already done it at 43 yards. Yes, I know, 43. Odd. What's up with that? A pellet that was a no-go at 43 came an absolute definite at 25. So we have the 787s, sweet group. Shot a little high and a little left mostly, but sweet group. And then we have the Air Arms 8.4s, the best, absolutely best out of all of them. Sweet, and it should. They're Air Arms pellets. This is an Air Arms gun. They probably love each other. <laughs> then we have the Simplys. They shot beautifully as well. And the 10.34s, all of them at 25 yards. Mwah! Absolutely gorgeous. Anyways, I've done it at 43, so this time I'm going to take it back to 50, see how it does at 50, and then bring it back to 75. I don't know if this is a 50 yard gun. I know it's only seven more yards than what we shot last time, but seven yards is actually, it can make a big difference. So let's check it out at 50 and see what happens. Now with the very first group guys, there are a couple of flyers, but other than those couple of flyers, it's actually a pretty tight group. I would say just at maybe a little over, a little under, not sure, I'll measure that an inch at 50 yards for a 177 Springer. That's pretty good. Um, the second group now was not quite as tight. a bad 50 yard gun. Now, I did say I was going to take it back further, and I am. I'm going to take it back to 75. I honestly 
don't think it's going to be a 75 yard gun, but let's take it back and check it out. The first group was beautiful. The second one, not bad, not quite as tight as the first one, but still 50 yards for a Springer. Like, I, let me remind you guys, Springers are super, super hold sensitive. The accuracy of the gun lies a lot on the shooter. What pellets was I shooting? <laughs> Some of my favorite pellets, guys, are from JSB. They really make a great pellet. So I've got the JSB Exact Diabolos. These are the 8.44 grains. The last pellet testing I did, they shot the best out of all of them. And yes, I know I need to find out other brands, which ones the Air Arms TX200 likes, but for right now, the JSB 8.44s are its favorite from what I've tested. Okay, so is this a 50 yard gun? Oh yeah, I would think so. It looks good on paper. The second group wasn't as tight as the first one, but I'll show you guys something. After I shoot at 75 yards, I wanna show you something that impressed me at 50. So let's go back to 75 and see if it's a 75 yard gun. Now the first couple shots that I took, I knew it was gonna be low and it was. I actually aimed at the bolt on the middle of the target and it shot under the entire target. So I raised it up to the top of the circle, the top of the large circle and aimed there and it hit the very bottom of the paper target. It wasn't near as tight as it was at 50 yards, which I kind of expected that. So I would not call this one a 75 yard gun. It's not a bad idea to take it out and challenge yourself and just have fun at 75 yards to see what you can shoot. But as far as accuracy and maybe hunting small pests, I wouldn't go as far to say I would use this at 75 yards. So it's not a 75 yard accuracy or hunting gun. Is it a 50 yard gun? The way that I check that out guys is by shooting at some canine targets. They're about the kill size of the squirrel and you've got to have enough power to flip the target. So if I'm able to hit that consistently as well as swing the target up, then I consider that good enough to shoot a squirrel, a rat. Small game guys, I mean small game. Nothing bigger than rat, squirrel, um, otherwise, you have to pretty much be a perfect shot every time. And Springers, well, that's a bit more challenging. So the Canine Outdoors targets, these are really fun targets, guys. If you guys haven't checked them out, go to www.canineoutdoors.com. You can also find them on Amazon. And they're a lot of fun. And it's a way that I check, one, my accuracy. Once I've figured out, this time I did not adjust my optic because I was going to shoot at 75 yards as well. So no adjustment to the optic. I just guessed. I saw where it was hitting. I made the adjustment myself and I only missed the canine outdoors target paddles twice. So that's not bad at all in my opinion. Maybe I'm wrong, but I don't think that's bad. So I judged the, I judged the accuracy as well as the power, because if it has enough power at 50 yards to flip the target up, I'd say it has enough power at 50 yards to take out a squirrel, a rat, a small bird. I mean, 50 yards with a 177 PCP all day long, you'll probably shoot less than dime size groups, but 50 yards with a Springer, it's a little bit more challenging. It takes a little bit more from you to follow through. 
there's, I mean, you've got to, it's hold sensitive, which means that you need to make sure you do not move at all until that pellet leaves the barrel. I would definitely say that this is a 50 yard pesting gun. I would confidently take shots at squirrels at 50 yards with this one. I believe it has enough accuracy and enough power to take them out. Now, shot placement is key as it is every time. Hunter Carbine TX200 177 cal from Air Arms, a 50 yard hunting gun. Oh yeah, definitely. And it's a 50-yard beautiful hunting gun. Air Arms did a fantastic job. A lot of scopes, when you zoom all the way in, they start getting a little blurry. This one, guys, at 16, was super crisp, clear, beautiful picture. Had no issues at all seeing my target. So the Hawk Vantage 30 wide angle, the whole line, Hawk makes some really awesome glass. Well, guys, I guess that's it for today. Not forever, just for today. Um, my take on the Air Arms TX200 as far as a long distance gun, 50 yards max. That's as far as I would take it for any pesting or small game hunting um, and accuracy shooting as well. An effective 50 yard shot at small game, not impossible at all. So guys, thank you so much for watching. I'm Airgun Angie with Airgun Web. This is the Air Arms TX200 in 177 caliber. Hunter carbine, smaller and lighter. Y'all don't just have a good day? Have an awesome one. See ya. That this is...